Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If there is something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to react to it. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing, and everything that you guys do. It never goes unnoticed. We're very grateful, and I hope you guys are doing all right, and may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested I react to Netflix shows. Netflix shows Muslim breaking fast with alcohol. Already that's, um, what's the word? I mean, the title is quite, um, it's something that draws you in. You're curious to see what exactly is happening, but the topic itself is, what do I say? I don't know what to say. Maybe I'll have something to say at the end of the video. Hopefully, I remember the term I'm trying to use. But otherwise, that's what we're going to be reacting to today. And you can follow us on Facebook, Funny and Jesse, Instagram, Funny and Jesse, and just feel free to uh, start a conversation with us. Um, so, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. 15 seconds. Break the fast. Break the fast. Break the fast. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. No. This is allegedly a clip on a Netflix show showing a Muslim woman breaking her fast with a shot of tequila while saying Bismillah which translates as in the name of Allah. You are a disgusting person. Douche. <laughs> I'm collecting money for boreholes in the Gambia. I got one done myself. These are 100% donation. There is a routine to maintain them and they are the safest way to provide water. I know the brother doing this. Donate using the link below. Some of you watching be like, at least she said Bismillah. Don't judge her. You don't know what's inside her. Uh, excuse me, we do. Alcohol! <laughs> I don't think you guys will be too surprised now because this is a trend that we're seeing, not only with Netflix, but pretty much every other show. Here are a few shows that are being presented to our children. Now, they are suggestive. Even though your child has probably watched it, viewer's discretion is advised. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like that is absolutely mental. Astaghfirullah. Let's take this back to Muslims, yeah? Either we're not being represented in the mainstream at all, or we're being represented as people who either are being oppressed by our religion or don't follow our religion at all. And it's getting pretty obvious that the mainstream media loves the people that just aren't practicing or are willing to change their values. I mean the example of people that don't follow their religion at all, Majid Nawaz, Sajid Javed, Sarah Khan, DJ Khaled, and these are the people that are going to get the shows, that are going to get the promo, the government contracts, and the example of the others that start off from the grassroots, yeah, and that go in as decent Muslims and somehow end up changing their values such that they become exactly what the mainstream wants. Yeah, you've got the likes of Asadi Khan, Guzibe, Ilhan Omar and the likes. Now here's some exclusive footage that I managed to attain at the BBC deciding which Muslims to bring on. Alright mate, we've got to do a documentary on Muslims. Uh, sounds pretty straightforward boy, uh, who are we going to call? Alright, pretty straightforward, let's see what's in Islam yeah? Uh, homosexuality is not permissible in Islam. Get a gay guy. Praying five times a day is a pillar of Islam. Get someone who doesn't pray. Pre-mixing is not 
allowed in Islam. Make it a place where you got a free mix. Quran and Hadith are the primary sources. Get people don't know all of that, mate. Uh, now what, boss? We see how they react, innit? <laughs> This is gonna be fun. Now the BBC will clearly deny this, yeah? We have the evidence, no one can dispute the evidence, we heard the evidence, we saw the evidence. Now our media is privately owned and it operates under capitalism. And for those guys, it's not within their interests to promote Islam. Rather, it's in their interests to demote and degrade Islam because it sells more. Yeah. Well, Islam refuses to change. Yeah, whilst other religions may have been quote unquote reformed, Islam refuses. You know it's crazy, Muslims get the most shit and people talk so much shit about them like oh they're crazy, but they're actually some of the people that actually believe and stick with the religion. Yeah, and it goes against the values of the people in power, be it materialism, consumerism, capitalism, uh, adultery. Islam is against all of this, so why on earth would they promote Islam? So Islam promotes God consciousness. It promotes speaking out against tyranny. And it teaches us that death is not the end and not to be afraid of it. And there is an everlasting life that we should aspire to, not the life of this world. So again, money, it axes it. Yeah, Love of dunya is the root of evil. Hubbu dunya ra'su kulli khati'ah. And mainstream media will continue showing Muslims doing silly things like this because it is trying to normalize that sort of behavior because TV does give that illusion of a majority and let's face it we refer to it as a benchmark for our behavior for our culture so it not only manufactures our consent for what the powerful want to do it's been revealed that during the Iraq war the Pentagon paid more than half a billion dollars to a British firm to spread fake Al-Qaeda videos what but it also manufactures our perception and understanding of culture and what's normal as well. This term manufacturing consent was coined by Noam Chomsky. His book is definitely worth reading. And the key is to keep repeating a lie till people believe it to be true. Yeah, this is a technique that was done by the Nazis. Yeah, and now we know this term as Gobelian propaganda. A lie repeated a thousand times becomes the truth. The man who said that even proved it. The lie became part of himself and the system he served. His name was Josef Goebbels. He was Nazi Germany's minister of propaganda. And rest assured, we see this even in the news nowadays as well. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. Well, I... Mike Myers says, yeah, baby. 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 So what's the solution? Am I just going to sit here and tell you guys this is evil and stay away? And look, 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 look. I know. I know what's practical, yeah? Telling your kids not to watch this stuff is simply not practical, yeah? But... I will say be very cautious with what you watch because it is your diet. Yeah, it does affect your mind and your daily action. And basically I feel like your diet isn't only what you eat, it's what you watch, it's what you read, it's Absolutely. what you listen to. Mm -hmm. And so I'm mindful of what I ingest. That being said, it's not always going to be practical for you to tell your kids, don't watch this and keep them, uh, keep them away from that. I mean, we don't use this mentality when it comes to other things. When they go outside, we tell them about stranger danger. If you see somebody, don't take sweets from them, don't go towards them. We don't say, oh, there's evil outside, just stay in and never go out yeah so likewise when you're watching tv yeah especially these questionable programs if you do have to watch them watch them with your kids and afterwards you have to sit down for five ten minutes go over it tell your kids what propaganda tools were being used tell them and analyze don't just walk away and let those ideas fester in their minds and go into their subconscious dissect it analyze it give them that time next time they're going to be equipped with those tools. So even when you're not around to supervise them or the teacher's not around to supervise them, they will still be able to see through the propaganda and the lies and the nonsense and the trickery. This is the best advice I can give. Equip your kids because with cartoons and stuff like that, you can't always be around. Yeah, so it's not always going to be practical, but you can equip them such that they can do this themselves yeah make it a muscle memory do it with them so much that eventually when they start doing it themselves then they're gonna be 
They're going to be solid, mate. Yeah, use Gobelian propaganda, but instead of repeating a lie, repeat the truth so many times that it becomes second nature to them. Yeah, all right, guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. There is a war going on, the battlefields in the mind. And the prize is the soul. So let's be careful. Be very careful. Assalamu alaikum. Um, starting to love his opinions even more the more I watch his videos um, the more I'm drawn to what he has to say it's not about what we're watching I always like to uh, know what people think about set, certain stuff um, I've actually watched not that I'm supporting anything I've actually watched a series on Netflix and they showed when there was a Muslim person at least she respected herself to say you know what i don't drink you guys can drink on my part i like how they represented that person in that particular series but then the thing is like i always say you can't really blame netflix let's blame the writers some of these um yes you write a story when someone takes your story to turn it into a movie sometimes the script changes they want all they want attention you have to draw in people to see what they're going to say because at the end of the day people are going to be drawn to watch whatever this was if it was a movie if it was a series whatever it was people really want to see it so that they can interpret it and maybe defend it or not defend it it depends but then if you notice writers or whoever produces these movies not sometimes it's not, it's not even writers but Sometimes they portray certain ethnicities in a certain way. Uh, if Muslims are going to be portrayed like this, the other time, I think I reacted to this guy reacting to something again that was on Netflix. I've forgotten what it was about. This time around, a woman is taking a shot. It's just not Muslims that they're attacking. If they're not training them to be bombing something, this is what they're showing. But then look at other ethnicities as well. If, if you look at... Um, what can I say? If you look at black people and the way they're portrayed, always angry, um, the black person always dies first in a group, in a horror movie, what else? There's just so much. I mean, it's the same, same, same thing. At the end of the day, you're going to say, you know what? Black people are always angry. Black people can't do this. Black people can't do that. Muslims are always killing people, which is quite wrong this is why i always say to break away from all this we should create our own industries we create our own movies the way we want to portray ourselves let not the west and that has no experience being around you your culture your religion to represent you this thing's always making noise but yeah otherwise it is quite wrong to disrespect people but people don't care about disrespect like i said it's all about drawing the audience in to normalize things at the end of the day many people are actually going to watch this whether you like it or not um that brings traffic to netflix they make money off that and life goes on otherwise it's very very sad at this point that people are still representing different groups in rather bad images I don't know if you understand but otherwise let me know what you guys actually think and then the cartoons the cartoons the cartoons teletubbies love that loved it not that i'd watch it now but used to love it the thing is i don't i think some parents are actually clueless some parents actually even enjoy this they'll watch and not understand that there's propaganda behind certain scenes they just the idol like that they can't even advise their own children this is why i i I would love to say walk people should encourage other people but people that rather people that are aware of such things should advise others so that they pay more attention to what we're watching what we're feeding our minds with and yeah let me know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video